What's up everybody, this is Connor and Joshua with Chamber One Tactical. Today we've got the Radical RF-15 uh, to do a review on for you guys. So this is another uh, introduction into our budget AR-15 series that we're doing. Uh, so we're very excited to do a review for this for you guys so you guys can get all the information you can on these budget ARs. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you guys know we like to start off on is the value of the gun. So this one came in right at $500, uh, $500. so kind of in the higher point of our budget series, you know, we like to stay within, kind of within that $500 mark. Mm -hmm. So this is right there in that mark. Um, so it's, you know, a little bit higher than some of the other ones, but pretty comparable to some that yes. we've already done, like the Diamondback and the mm -hmm. Anderson AM-15. So um, right there in, in a pretty decent price range, in my opinion. Yeah. So, um, you know, obviously ARs are a little different, so we're just going to run through some of the features this thing has mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the most important thing, <clears throat> the actual performance of the gun. Um, so the first thing we'll talk about, this gun did come stock with the B5 Systems uh, furniture, which yes. I actually really enjoyed. Good job. Yeah, I uh, we like to see at least Magpul on there. I I honestly think this is a step up from Magpul as Absolutely. far as the Absolutely. way that it actually performs while you're shooting. Yeah. I really like the angle of the pistol grip and the flares that you get for your cheek rest yeah. on the stock. I really like. It's a pretty tight fitting stock also, mm -hmm. um, and you got your QD points, which we love to see QD points. Yes. Um, so it was pretty neat to, we haven't really messed with B5 systems uh, furniture before, so it was nice to have this on a gun. Um, and it really, you know, let me know that I may want to look into getting B5 systems for a lot more of my ARs because right. I really enjoyed this setup. Um, but moving on to the actual gun itself, uh, I think aesthetically this is probably one of the best looking ones that we've got so far. I think mm -hmm. this and the Anderson AM15 are right there neck and neck. Yeah. Um, the Anderson we've got right here, it's just a very milled out, cool looking design on the on the forehand, and the same thing is is going for this one. I like what they did here at the very bottom too. It was kind yeah. of like a more of a hexagon kind yeah. of at the bottom, which gives it a little bit more of a unique look. Right. You, know, you could look at it far away and know, oh yeah, that's that's a radical. Well, and it also helps out with the actual grip texture mm -hmm. of the gun because it's got some. I'll be honest, it's got some sharp edges. Like if you run your hand across there, yeah, um, it does grab on, but to its you know defense it grabs onto your hand which yep. you know we really want to see because right now during the summertime when you're <laughs> out shooting it's really hot and you're sweating uh, and if you don't have a grip up here you know it, you may slip around but I had no issues whatsoever holding on to this gun um, the little angles that they've got and we'll do a close-up of it so you guys can see but the angles mm -hmm. they've got on here really allows your thumb to almost lock in uh, to the holes that they've got and yep. allow you to really grab onto the gun um, I also like having full Picatinny across the top rail. Yep. I know that's a personal preference for people. Um, you know, we've had Bear, <clears throat> Bear Creek Arsenal. I think, does the Diamondback have a yeah, full rail? Yeah, So, you know, the, I know the Bear Creek Arsenal, they cut out this middle, I guess, for weight saving. Um, but I like having a full Picatinny rail too. across the top, me personally. Yep. Um, but moving on to, like, fit and finish, this gun is right there up with all with the higher ends that, end ones that we've done there's not a lot of wiggle between your upper and lower um, the finish is is consistent across the entire gun which i like to see there's not different textures and different <laughs> colors and there's no missed spots or dimples or dents or anything like that um, just a clean looking gun with no imperfections because sometimes you know not always and i know dime uh, or palmetto state armory they have uh some that you can get that are, what are they considered? Blemished. Blemished. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I know Palmetto State offers that, but this gun was completely perfect the way it came. So I was happy to see that because sometimes, you know, quality control, if you're putting out a cheaper product, sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to get something with a, with a flaw. Um, but this did not have any flaws, and I like that. Um, what do you think? I mean, comparing to some of the other ones we've yeah, got. Yeah, so, you know, just comparing this, obviously, if you just talked about price, yeah, there's a lot to compete with this. Yeah. But when me and Connor shot this, we were kind of shooting them side by side to some other AR-15s in this price range. Right. And this one was just so well tuned. Yeah. Um, the, the gas on it, and it just seemed like it just shot a lot better, a lot smoother. Um, we had good ejection patterns out of it. So um, that's one thing that actually surprised us 
is how much better it was compared to even the other competitors in right. its own price range. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of kicked butt, to be honest with you. Um, like you said, compared to some of the other ones, yep. um, we've had a lot of, well, it seems like a lot of the cheaper ones we've had are coming in over gassed a good bit. Yes. Um, where, like you said, this one did seem like it. somebody put effort into making sure that the gun was actually functioning well yep. without it being over gassed. One um, thing that I would like to see, which I appreciate that they have on this stock right here is a QD because most of them do not have one there. Right. So I have to end up, end up swapping out for a different type of Magpul stock with the QD point right there. But I appreciate that there's one there. But I wish that they had a little cutout right here um, like some other companies do yeah. because I do utilize that one um, with other with other uh, handrails. Right. So that would be nice. They have room for it if they just drilled out a little hole and put a QD point yeah. there as well. But that's really the only issue that I have with it. Yeah, I mean, the only thing um, that was a little odd when I was when we were just dry firing this gun, just kind of when we first got it, looking at it, the trigger was a little different. Mm -hmm. um, the actual trigger, you'd have a little bit of take up when you got to it, and it wasn't like take up where it's just light and you pull back to a wall. Um, it had like almost like a stage in it where it would pull and then you're, you would actually have the break. So it was odd, but when actual shooting, I had no issues with, I didn't even notice it. So, right. and that happens sometimes when you go to like dry fire triggers, they may feel weird in dry fire, but then when you once you actually go do live fire, yeah. none of that comes through in the live fire. So um, I think the gun altogether, we had no issues with anything. Uh, I was very impressed with the performance we got. And like you said, the recoil was very soft. Yep. The gassing was felt like it was a tuned gun that, that had you know no issues in any way. So the gun performed very well, mm -hmm. um, especially compared, like you said, compared to some of the other ones that we've already done reviews on. So I was very impressed with this at its price range. Um, I really don't know, you know what is a con about it other than, like what you said, maybe yeah. not having a QD point. Uh, but I think they did an excellent job with with everything. The only thing I would up to upgrade is the charging handle. But yes, yeah. I do that. We do that on pretty much all the ARs. Which that we all get. of them, you know, in that price range, they're not going to be ambi. Yeah. But yeah, I like putting ambi and a little bit extended charging handles yeah. on my ARs. So at this point, Joshua, we've done the shooting mm -hmm. at the price point that it's at. Would you recommend this gun? Oh, I would 100% recommend this gun. Okay. As a matter of fact, I know we have a video coming out here shortly comparing it to the other ones in its price range and make sure to check out that video. But this, it, it was one of the best for the price range. Yeah. So 100% I would recommend this firearm. And like you were talking about before, us talking to the gun store and them talking about how many they've sold versus how many they've had back compared to you know some other brands as well. Um, seems like they don't really get a lot back with issues. So yeah. that's really interesting to see. It's definitely got a good track record. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's, that's one thing that helps, you know, some of the other ones that we've done, we may have got a good one, but their track record's terrible. Um, so yeah. this is actually something that we're comfortable uh, recommending to you guys because we really haven't heard or seen any issues with them and the one we had performed great. So I think at this price point, it's a great option for you to go um, pick pick one up and have a decent AR that you can you know trust with your life. Because um, it is important, especially as the world changes and as people get crazier and crazier, um, you know, you may be put in a situation where you need to use something like this to protect yourself. Um, so, you know, definitely go do some more research. I mean, we're just one one piece of the puzzle. You know, definitely go and see if what other people have found with these guns. Um, but at this point, with with what we have found, I would I would have no issue recommending this gun to you guys. So, if you've got any questions about the gun or about anything else that we've talked about today, let us know down in the comment section. Definitely make sure you stay tuned for the full. Um, comparison between all the, but we actually have a video coming out of all the budget AR-15s that we own at this point um, that we're going to review and tell you guys which one we would recommend the most out of all of them. Um, so make sure you look out for that. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Definitely, if you guys want to help out the channel, subscribe and share the video as much as you can. And uh, we'll catch you next time.